Hi, I'm Carl Taylor. Hello everyone, I'm Urs Recio from Brocolor. And welcome to another how-to video. Carl, huge setup. It's, it's not that big. It's a studio, <laughs> in the studio, and a small product. Yes. So yeah. what, what is the idea behind it? Uh, well, what I want to do on this shot is light two perfume bottles and use some refraction elements from the actual perfume bottles to cast some nice glows of light and nice patches of colour. Mm. And to do that, to, to get the sort of refraction that I want, I'm going to use the Pico light with the Fresnel okay. attachment. So, um, <clears throat> first of all, I'm going to just start off with this one single light. Let's take our first test shot and see what we get. So I'm shooting at f16 at uh, 250th just to cut out the modeling lamps. And okay, there we go. So there's our starting point. The first thing I want to deal with is the exposure is a little bit dark. So I'm going to take the um, take that up to 5.7, please, on, on uh, the main it. light. Got it. Let's get that next shot in so there. Two thirds brighter. Two thirds brighter. Yep. Um, the next thing is really the density of these shadows. This area in here and here is too very menacing. Dark, yeah. yeah, very dark. So I've got yeah. a couple of other lights. Let's just turn those on. Let's just go and take a walk around and look at each of those and what they're doing. So my light from the back, as you can see, I've just set up a broad area, two rolls of diffusion hanging down on some C-stands. And I've just got a uni light um, with uh, a ball of light. It's is slightly more concentrated in the right. center um, from this particular reflector. I forget the name of this one. It's a P65. Um, and then we've got the same over on the side and over on the top. Um, so I've got one light into the side of another scrim roll. I mean, this looks quite elaborate, but to be honest, it's just C stands yeah, with an right. arm and a roll. So it looks huge, but actually it's a really simple setup. You just need a C stand and an arm mm -hmm. uh, and then just roll your diffusion off it. It's, <laughs> it's very easy to do. So these three additional lights will now fill in some of the darker shadow, mm -hmm. but they should also start to reveal the shape of the yes, ribbon. Yeah. So let's go and see how that pans out. Okay, so let's make our next capture with the additional three lights. And um, we should see our shadows filling in uh, mm -hmm. nicely now. There we go. Mm -hmm. Shadows are filling in nicely. I and mean, you can see now that we've got some shape yes. and we've got some tones in the, um, in, the, in the metal work, in that shiny chrome on the ribbons. Right. One of the problems that I see with the shot at the moment, well, there's a, there's a couple of problems that I see with the shot. The first one is that these caps on the bottles are oh, yeah. transparent. You can almost, you, this particular one on the no, left, you lose it. You, huh? you lose it. You yeah. don't all know, almost no, there's no cap there uh, visible. Um, but I've got a little trick for fixing that, and it's very, very simple. I just need to be careful in taking the cap off of the bottle mm -hmm. um, that I don't move the bottle or mark it. So I've just got a little bit of silver tape that I've prepared that is the correct size for each one. Just going to tack that on to the back of the cap. Because it's silver gray, it will reflect some of the light. Okay, let's Ready? take another shot and let's look at the difference on those caps. So oh, there you nice. go. So a very simple, easy technique. Just put a little bit of tape on the back of the caps. Yep. And that's that problem solved. Now, I have another problem. I've actually got two, two extra problems. You have a lot of problems today, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's always, there's always a lot of problems with product photography. Um, the, the next little problem for me is um, we've got these, well, we've got refraction here and splashes of light, which, which are is nice because they've yeah. got some color. Yeah. But these ones here may be a little bit distracting. And this is actually the Fresnel light hitting the side of the bottle mm -hmm. and it's bouncing some light out in this direction. And there's a little bit off the top of the cap. So what we need to do is we need to turn the glossy surfaces on that bottle into matte surfaces to try and reduce that uh, reflection. So I'm just mm -hmm. going to apply a little bit of uh, dulling spray. Yeah. So we've got some dulling spray. 
and we know that we want to get a little bit on the top of that cap as well, yeah. and a little bit on the side. We don't want to get it all over the bottle, so it's generally a good idea to protect the area around it. So I'm just going to get a cloth or some tissue just to protect um, parts of the bottle. And this may not even work. I'm not touching the dulling spray side. Okay. And we're going to slide this carefully back into shop. Okay, so let's see what effect the dulling spray has had. Good. Mm -hmm. So it's really reduced yep. that here. Let's see, this is the most important part. Let's see if it's uh, affected our refraction. Very bit, minimal, uh, yeah. very minimal. I'm just gonna bring this mirror in to position in anticipation of your um, added sheet of acrylic. And I'm just looking where the light will get me a little bit more light into the side of that ribbon yeah. on the smaller bottle. So that does the trick. So if you could grab the acrylic yep. sheet, please, Oz. Good. So, so we have an additional light. Yeah. And important is that I really go as close as possible, just out of the picture frame and all the way down to the camera. And I'm just going to shoot a few exposures with this light in a couple of different positions. So first, a broader one, an angle. Maybe you could hold that over on that side for one. Let's go and take a look at what that ribbon looks like now. So uh, that, that's a nice result. We can see that we've got that metallic surface illuminated now, much, much more illumination than we have previously. Um, but yeah, the rest is dead, huh? The rest is destroyed, absolutely. So it'll be a very simple job for me to comp these ribbons into yeah. the uh, previous shot. That's because the Fresnel is, is, is operating from that point light source, isn't it? It's got um, a different aperture, hasn't it, in here, um, where we've got a really defined point light source. Exactly. And yeah, then actually, the lensing controlling yeah, that the, light. The, the, the smaller the light source, the more precisely you can, you can shape it afterwards, you know? Yes. So even if you have a, a large flash tube with, with a small opening, with a small kind of aperture, we limit the, the size of the light source, yeah. and that's why the Fresnel works very precisely in yeah. the end. And the beauty with the Fresnel as well is one, we can vary the size of the beam, yeah. but the other thing that I love about the Fresnel is that the, you, you get a very even light and you get a very perfect gradation of feathering exactly. at the edge. Just a case of, uh, for the final shot, comping in those uh, layers of uh, chrome metal ribbon, blending those two shots together. Um, so, uh, thank you very much for watching. We'll see you on the next how-to. Thanks a lot, Carl. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.